one leg injury, seven ankle injuries, four hamstring injuries, one shoulder injury, a groin injury, a rib injury, a head injury, two wrist injuries, a hip injury, a foot injury, and a knee injury. How are you alive? RJ here. We are hanging out at the Young Hollywood studio with Super Bowl winner, Craig Jennings. How crazy is that? You're not just Craig Jennings anymore. I now know, it's huh? Super Bowl winner. Right, right. That, that's like always going to be in front of the name, like suit or right behind. Right. But it's, it's cool. It's pretty cool. So many questions for you. It's crazy. So obviously we got to start with the big game. I was there. I was seventh row. So I was watching all the action go down. Did you watch the action or did you watch the Jerry trial? How crazy is that screen, by the way? That is stupid. Like it's... Like, I'm like, my neck is still recovering from going like this the entire time. Because you, you don't even really watch the game. The number one attraction is the Jumbotron. That stadium, though, is massive. I mean, I heard the stories. Like, when you go in, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. It is. It's, it's pretty sweet. When we had actually had media day, that was our first day to get to tour the stadium. And we went in the locker room. Obviously, we were the home team, so we get to go in their locker room. They are spoiled rotten. Really? So why is their locker room different than, than the locker room you guys have? They have flat screen TVs. They practically have individual stalls for every player on the team. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sweet. Jerry, he, he's, he, he has them living in luxury, honestly. So let's start, take me through the week leading up, up to Super Bowl. There are a lot of temptations. I mean, there were some crazy parties. You had the Usher <laughs> concert, you know, Black Eyed Peas concert. I was at a lot of that stuff. Yeah, but there was snow. We were in Green Bay all over again. Right? So that kind of canceled out everything. We were cooped up in the hotel. We, number one, we have a curfew. It was at midnight. Okay. Which isn't, that isn't bad. Right. Um, so do you actually go out though, or you're just really at the hotel? You're really at the hotel the entire time. For me, you know, I have family, my family, my wife, my girls. You know, I'm trying to spend as much time with them as possible, but at the same time trying to sleep. And then game day, at what point do you think you felt like, all right, we got this thing. We want it. We can't lose it now. <laughs> did it happen a couple times that it changed? It did. You know what? Uh, the I want to say when we got up 21 to 3, when I scored uh, my first touchdown. First. Okay. And we were up 14 to when Nick got when Nick Collins got that pick and he right. took it back. We we're like it's over. It's it's done. We're up 14 zip. They're not putting up points like that on our defense. Right. It came down to the wire, which was nice. It though. Did. It's like what you want to see. Cause it's really it's the last five minutes. You didn't know for sure. Like yeah. And it's that's done. In, in a Super Bowl. You don't want to blow. You you want to blow out if you're the team that's blowing the, the right, losing team out. You don't mind that. But for for the fans to keep them drawn in to keep them uh, watching, you want a close game. You hate it if you're on the losing end. Yeah. You love it if you come out with the ring on your finger. So it worked out. I just got to go through your injury list because this is not normal. <laughs> I've never seen a list like this. Yeah. So in the last four years, one leg injury, seven ankle injuries, four hamstring injuries, one shoulder injury, a groin injury, a rib injury, a head injury, two wrist injuries, a hip injury, a foot injury, and a knee injury. How are you alive? I'm here. <laughs> By the grace of God. But how do you recoup? Because you do something like, like, is it just because you're in such good shape and your fitness it, it, routine? Or? You know what? It has a lot to do with what we do on the field and off the field um, as far as preventive work, uh, preventive treatment, things like that. But the training staff, they work night and day to get guys right back. The big question I'm sure a lot of people are asking you, Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> we have the team that can get it done. Right. We do. We do. We have uh, we have a lot of confidence in one another. Um, I think that upstairs that they've done a great job of bringing guys in that that can help and complement another guy. And I think that's the number one thing that we have. We have a certain dynamic uh, within that building that a lot of teams really search to find, and it's hard to find, and it's hard to create, and we've created that dynamic. And you know what's going through my mind here as we've been sitting here a while? It's not so much, you know, Greg the athlete, because obviously you've proved a lot and you're huge. Greg the actor. I can yeah. see it. I know you're messing with no joke. Yeah. Like every ball player, oh yeah, I'm going to be an actor, this and that, and it's like they can't talk, this and that, but I got no lie. Like you just see. Like it's real, it's authentic, and that's, you know, it's got to come across on screen when you're not like trying to act. You know what? You know the crazy part about acting? 
is even when I thought it would be a cakewalk. I did one. What was Criminal it? Minds. Criminal Minds. Yep. Criminal Minds. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a breeze. I got it. I got there and got the lights hit me and I got nervous. <laughs> I'm like, right. I, seriously, I, I never get nervous before a football game. Mentally, I, it never resonates that, man, I'm nervous. Man, those cameras hit me and it's like, action, Greg, go. Shoot your line, spit right. them out. And it's like, uh, you have to become someone that you're not, uh -huh. but you are, you know what I'm saying? So it was tough. And they're all telling you, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. And I'm like, you, you, no, no, shoot straight with me. If I'm horrible, let me know. Right. And I will stop right now. But it turned out pretty good. So it's, it's fun, it's fun. One and only Greg Jennings, want to thank you for coming through. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again next year. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. We gotta keep talking, quit talking about that though. Yeah, right, we don't wanna jinx it. Yeah, we, we got the superstitions man, on. I know. Make sure whatever happens, happens. But I'm not really superstitious, so I guess we can talk about it.